Okay, so we got a two for one here. Uh, if I upload them the same day, that is. I didn't want to add this in the other video because I didn't want it to be too long, but there are a couple of things I wanted to show. This, for me to show. For one is this race, and this is the race where... I don't know if I showed this one in the one video I uploaded. I believe I did, but I didn't do a lot of talking about this race. But this is the race where everyone keeps running into the, um, the icebergs or whatever it is, the sleigh drops. So, I'm going to go through it and show what I do. Now, some people, they veer all the way to the rock and go into the forest to miss the icebergs or the whatever that is that is dropped. I'm going to say icebergs because... Mm, I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> Ice shields, whatever. Um, but you can do that. You See, we're going to come up on it right here. You can go all the way to the right and go into the forest if you want. But I find that takes more time and more effort in your keyboard. Oh, crap. But I... And I just messed up, so we're going to start over. I knew that would happen when I'm trying to show it. Uh, but usually it's smoother. <laughs> but I can't show and talk at the same time. Do it again. So, here's the race that everybody messes up on. Um with the sleigh dropping the ice shields or icebergs, whatever you want to call them. Um, and usually people just veer all the way to the right where the forest is and stays in the forest and comes back. Now you can do that, but I tried that and I find that that's more time consuming and harder to control your horse and bring it back around. And I usually end up hitting the, the ice regardless. The obstacles. So here's what I do. If I don't mess up again, I stay all the way left, like this, and I just go back right. And it's not a problem in the world. I don't have to worry about um, counteracting the controls of my horse and bringing him back around and um, making up for that long stride toward the right in the forest. So that's how I fix that issue. I just stay all the way to the left and I don't have to worry about uh, the forest either if I get too far into it because sometimes Star Stable is iffy. Sometimes I run into issues that's not even my fault like the horse is out of control on its own and I'm sitting there trying to like get it to go the opposite way I'm pressing my A key and it's going right when I'm trying to get it to go left so yeah I just tend to stay left on that race and I'm fine I do fine so I wanted to show that for one thing and let's get yeeted while we're trying to go back to Yorvik. While we're going back to Moreland. And let's go. I'm not spending money, I'm cheap, so. Let's go to Silver Glade because I want to I want to show you something really funny. I should have done this in the day, but I like to record at night. That way, there's no interruptions. There's no outside uh, audio and. And I don't have to worry about anyone talking to me and being in my business because that is an issue. 
Now, I used to record during the day, and I would watch my video and overlap a recording of me. Okay, so we're, get, we're getting to what I want to show you. And it's nothing special, it's just this regular race. Oh, a bunny's stuck. But I just want to show you. <laughs> now, I hate this race in regular, like, throughout the year. It's, I hate it. It gives me anxiety. But with the snow being here, and it piled so thick, it takes away the anxiety. Because, look, look at these little bunnies um, just going through the snow. Like, I find it so funny and so cute. Like, you can barely see them. Like, they're this scuttering around in the snow and a lot of times you can just see their tracks or they're like little ears poking out through the snow and it's just like it's hilarious it really is I find it adorable and I just wanted to show that the white ones especially when they're running through the snow <laughs> So yeah, I got a little bit of a kick out of that and thought, oh, I, lo I lost track of that one, and thought I would show that of them like running through the snow, like how cute it is and how funny it is just to see like their little ears going through the snow. And I don't know why this one gives me anxiety, but it does any other time of the year. But now that there's snow on the ground piled thick like it is it doesn't give me anxiety to catch them okay now what other one okay I, I am gonna have to take I am gonna have to take um, the balloon <laughs> well it won't, the balloon I won't get off there but I'll take it there I just talked about this one in the video that I just uploaded, uh, but I figured I'll add it in this one anyway since I gotta do it and probably show off my poor skills. Oh, I didn't do this. Tea, candles, and netting. I've been doing that every day. That's how I get the most shillings. And I already forgot. Yeah, it was hard there for a while, me getting, building up shillings, but doing this, like, these little things, doing the task for people, and dropping this off, it's helped a lot. And I, I have a love and hate relationship with this one. Like I said, it was fun when I could run into the pink ones. But now that they took that away and penalize you for it, it's not so fun. I just, the thing I don't like about it is that you have to be very careful because of the ice. Like your horse slides big time. So for me... The way I do it is, this is a lot of stopping, slowing down, and speeding up. No, I might not 
be too fast at it, but it's the best way for me. And sometimes you have to over direct your angles a little bit. up. Usually I jump it, but sometimes you still mess up. And this is where I typically hit them regardless. Sometimes I miss them, sometimes I don't get so lucky. Here you want to try to go through the trees because it's just easier. this stuff and that will be the well now it's the end of the video I'm going to finish up with that so thank you guys for joining me whoever is watching and I will see you guys next time bye